Good morning, everyone. Star Trek fans everywhere. Uh, what we have today is an unboxing, sort of, of the brand new The Wand Company original series Star Trek communicator Bluetooth device. Now, I don't know if you're like me. I'm 45 years old. Ever since I was a kid in the 70s, I've loved the props from the original 1960s Star Trek. Now, I'm more of a Star Wars guy, but I've always loved the props from the original 60s series. Like, I love the, the design of the phaser, this little tiny one over here. But my favorite thing always has been the communicator. I don't know why. I've owned, uh, back in the 70s, I owned, hold on, I'll show you what I had. Back in 1975, this was one of my favorite toys, the Star Trek communicator walkie-talkie. Press this button. Flips up. Look at that. And it tells you it's a communicator, <laughs> in case you didn't know. I absolutely love these things. And look at this antenna you got to pull out. Kids today don't know what this is, but look at that. That thing is incredibly long. But this, I loved it. So I had these in the 70s. Uh, then in the 90s, I guess Playmates came out with a form of communicator that I purchased. and felt a little nerdy, you know, buying, but what the heck. And then uh, in the 2000s, I went to Las Vegas to the Star Trek Experience. And I bought the communicator there. I'll show you that one now. So this is the communicator I bought in Las Vegas at the Star Trek Experience. Oh, I'm getting a call. And it was great because it's well made. It's got a metal antenna dish. The moray spins. The little lights come on. They pretend to be fiddling with the frequency. So I bought that one in the early 2000s. And then, just like on Sunday night, this past Sunday, what was that, July something, 2016, I learned that this had come available. Now, from what I understand, they'd announced it last year or in January or that it was going to come out in January. And it didn't. It was delayed. But I, like I said, I didn't learn about it until Sunday. And I received this on Tuesday. And my nerdy childhood dreams have come true. Uh, if you want to see the actual unboxing of like people taking it out of that box back there and looking at this and, and looking at the little case that it comes in, there's lots of those. But I'm going to show you the things it can do once you've unboxed it. All right, let's open it up. This is great. I mean, look at that. That's so cool. Look at that. I mean, this is a nice case. It's like this rubbery kind of foam. Anyway, let's get to the real part of the matter here. The Bluetooth communicator. Look at this thing. They took actual 3D scans of the surviving hero communicator that Kirk and Spock used. It still exists. It's in private hands, I believe. And they 3D scanned it to get all of the, uh, like the, the texture of this plastic correct and the measurements and everything. And it's thinner. It's a lot thinner than the, uh, can you see that? This one's not quite accurate. It's like a, that's an exact replica almost of the master replicas one that they came out with. But this one is as close as you're ever going to get to a real communicator. And it works. That was the most important thing. Ever since the 90s, when flip phones started to come out, we said, if they ever come out with a communicator phone, cell phone, we are going to buy it. Well, no one's ever going to come out with a standalone communicator replica with like a SIM chip in it and, you know, those sort of things. So I think that a Bluetooth device hooked to a smartphone like this are as close as we're going to get. So when you get it out of the box, it's not powered up. It comes with this power charger over here. See this cradle? Cool thing about that is it's inductive charging. See, there's not a plug on the communicator, but there is a USB, a mini micro USB goes to this. And then when you're ready to charge it, it just magnetizes to that base. And then the color of the LED changes. Oh, did you hear? It powered up. So it change, when it's charging, it goes from yellow to red as it's charging to let you know that you've got it on the base correctly. So let me, uh, so now it's, when you put it on the base, even though it wasn't turned on, it will turn itself on. And so can, you can see the little blue indicator in there. That means that it is connected to my phone. Look at that. 
It's got a real solid feel to it. It feels like what you would imagine this prop should feel like. It feels good, it feels heavy, it feels well built. The grill is metal. This is like a heavy duty plastic, I believe this is aluminum. It's very well made, very well made. It's got the FCC warning or uh, you know statement on the back as required by law. That's the only thing that's not the same as the original prop, but you can cover that with some Velcro. So you open that thing up, and if you're not connected to uh, a Bluetooth enabled cell phone, you can do fun little things like talking to, pretending like you're talking to Spock. So here we go. Let's uh, let's talk to Spock. Hey Spock, you push this button up once. Enterprise, Spock here. Hey Spock, I uh, just want to let you know that I'll be beaming up pretty soon, and then you press it up twice. Affirmative, Captain. Enterprise out. Say you're feeling a little sick, and need to talk to Bones. You press this button, which is like a little a little toggle, like a joystick, like a miniature joystick. This one, is, the left one is just a button. You only press it. This one you can press or jog up, down, right, and left. So say you're a little sick, need to call Bones. McCoy here. Uh, Dr. McCoy, uh, I'm a little sick. Can you send down some aspirin? Received and understood. So you press it twice to get the second response, which is like them ending the conversation. Uh, let's talk to Sulu. Press down once. Yes, Captain. Hey, uh, just got to let you know that I'm doing the review now. Uh, check it out when I upload it. And then down twice. And then to the left is Mr. Scott. Scotty here, Captain. Hey, Scotty, I need uh, to give uh, get the dilithium crystals. Uh, give me all you can uh, give me, and then we gotta get out of here and beam out of space. <laughs> I, I don't know that all of the Star Trek talk. Like I said, I'm more of a Star Wars guy, but I love this thing. Okay, then you do left twice to get Scotty to sign off. I'll do what I can. Oh, you see, he'll do what he can. Yes, I like Scotty. He's, he's a little gruff. And then you press it once. Voice command. Oh, I forgot. I'm connected to... What's the temperature, Siri? It's about 88 degrees outside. Hot. Yeah, it's not that hot for Texas, but yes, it's hot. So when you are connected to Bluetooth and you want to place a call, since this doesn't have you know, a dial on it, it doesn't have a touch screen, all it has are the two little buttons here as an interface. Uh, the microphone is behind this little screen here, as you would think it would be. The speaker is behind the Moray disc, and it is very loud. Now, I'm going to show you a lot of people that have been reviewing this unit say, oh, the speaker's not loud enough. It is plenty loud. Here's what you have to do. So this one, when you're connected to the phone, and this little blue uh, LED indicator shows you that you are connected to your phone via Bluetooth, uh, when you press and hold this button up, it increases the volume. When you press and hold it down, it decreases. So that's good. that goes real. When you hear that high pitch, you know you're at maximum volume. The second thing you need to do with your cell phone, and some people were saying that it wasn't loud enough, make sure that it's turned all the way up on the communicator and the volume is, oops, volume's on the other side. <laughs> Just still getting used to iPhone 6. Make sure your volume is all the way up on the phone too and the speaker phone will be plenty loud. I was using this both indoors and out. I was taking a walk in the neighborhood and I could hear it perfectly when I was talking to my friend. Now you can't have a private conversation on the communicator. You just have to own your nerdiness, your fandom, and uh, proudly walk around talking to someone on your communicator. So you open a thing up, um, say you want to text somebody. How do you do that? You access the voice command if your phone has that, like Siri on the Apple or Google Now, I believe it's called Google Now on Android phones. You press this button once, the right button, and it will access your voice command as it tells you here. Voice command. Send a text to Chuck. What do you want to say to Chuck? I'm going to call you on my communicator in a minute. Your message is, I'm going to call you on my communicator in a minute. Ready to send it? Send it. I'll send your message. All right, so that's how you send a text. How do you call someone? You do the same same thing. You press the right button once, you let go of it, and then you wait for the uh, Siri beep or the Google Now beep, and then you call. So let's do a phone call. Voice command. Call Chuck. 
Calling check. All right, there we go. Chuck, I'm making a review video of the communicator and I'm doing a call to you so people can hear what it sounds like when you make a call. Oh, yeah? What do you have to say to the nice people watching this video? <laughs> Watch the new Star Trek movie. <laughs> Zoom. You'll love it. Thank you, Chuck. What? Talk to you soon. Kirk out. All right, bye-bye. Communication terminated. And that's how you end the call, by closing the antenna lid now if you're um if you have say you're charging it and you have the phone over here and you've got the antenna grid up and you get a call you can reject the call by pressing let's see there's there's a list over here see there's a whole list that i suggest you read uh, you press and hold the right button so say that's up press and hold that button to reject the call you can also get your phone to play music through the communicator as a Bluetooth music device. And to get the music started, let's see if it'll work with my, I'll un unlock my phone because sometimes it asks you to unlock your phone. You press this button twice to start the music. About, you know, there were like 3,000. Oh, it's a know, podcast. Trained and skilled actors auditioned and yeah. so it's, slow it's not music it's a podcast but let me play a song so you can and, hear uh, that and if you want to pause it press it again twice to England to so you can listen to a podcast through there it's not the loudest bluetooth speaker ever for you know listening to music but it's plenty loud if it's just sitting on your desk and i think it's a little bit better quality uh than the speaker phone in the uh in the apple in the iphone i've got the six plus okay let's here we go let's get a voice command to play music. Press once. Voice command. Play the Blues Brothers. Sorry, I can't find that. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. See, if you run into problems, it's not the communicator's fault. It's Siri. See? So that's the sound of the speaker. And you want to skip to the next song? You press this to the right once. So you don't want that one? Press to the right. Let me see. Um, double click. So you just press once to the right, and it goes to the next song. Press to the right again. Skips to the next song. If you want to go back, press to the left. And you go back to that song you're listening to. Skip that one. You want to stop it all together, press double click. And that's how you play the music. Oh, see, I got a text message. So let's see. Say the communicator's in your pocket, or your uh, rather your phone is in your pocket. Since there's no readout screen on here, you can't see who called you. Let's see if Siri will read us that last text. Read that last text to me. I found your most recent message from mom. Mom said, what your and model is Courtney's new car? I have to register it at Pirate's Cove. Would you like to reply? No. Okay. So there you go. That's how you hear what the text was without a screen because, you know, they're trying to, you know, stay faithful to the original prop where there was no screen and um that's how you do it voice command where is the nearest mcdonald's the closest one i see is mcdonald's which averages two and a half stars and is inexpensive <laughs> does that one sound good no thanks though that's all i found Two and a half stars. People are rating McDonald's. Come on, we all know what McDonald's is. Come on, you either love it or you hate it or you just eat it anyway. Learn all that from this uh, this little uh, insert that came with it. Tells you how to, you know, reject a call. How to uh, last number redial. Last number redial. You press and hold the right button. Most things you do with the right button. 
The left button is mostly power on and power off. I'll show you how it powers off by pressing and holding the left button. It makes the noise as it goes down, then you press it back on, press and hold, turn on. Connected. It lets you know it's connected to your phone. So most functions are accessible through the right feature, including talking to bones. And there's some additional vo voices that you can hear when you're not connected to a Bluetooth phone. And so if, uh, say you just want this for a prop and uh, you don't want to connect it to a phone necessarily, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to connect it to a phone because you can call people. It's incredible. You can also call. You say you don't have someone in your contact list. You press the voice command. Press it once, twi uh, once on the right. Call 512-555-1212. Calling 512-555-1212. You can actually tell it which number you want it to call. And if you notice, the red light flashes when the person is speaking, coming through the... Uh... It's not, it's not going to mean anything because that's the old fake movie phone number. Communication terminated. Yeah, exactly, because it wasn't really a phone number. But if you have a phone number you want to dial, that's how you do it. Say they're not your contact. You can't say, you know, call mom, call dad, call whoever. That's how you do it. So that's a little kind of a rundown of this fantastic wand company, Bluetooth Communicator, Star Trek, the original series. Uh, I love it. I've been using it every day since I got it. And... Um, I suggest you get one if you can get your hands on one, if you can afford it. It's not too expensive. Uh, it's $149 from, uh, this one I believe came from StarTrek.com, or you can get it at ThinkGeek. The Wand Company, you've done it. You've made my nerdy childhood dream come true. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Kirk out.